Hello everyone, my name is Raymond and welcome to Raymond675 for Gaming. And, uh, well, as you can see in this video, um, I am playing with Unity 3D inside of, well, Ubuntu 13.04. Uh, however, this is Unity 4, which is quite a pain, though it's not that difficult actually, to get working. So, let's see what works. Create other uh, cube. Uh, there we go, I had to get the inspector back. Ah, there we go. It's 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 a little bit glitchy, but amazingly, you could actually work in it quite well. Uh, let's see, let's create another cube. Um, let's see, zero zero point. Whoops, zero point five zero. Let's drag this down. Cool. So we have that, and let's put this here. And we can create other, let's make a directional light, make it cast some shadows. And we'll go into the game view. Wow, that's some bad shadows. There we go, very high resolution. Tell you what, uh, project settings, quality. Uh, there we go, directional light, use whatever. Awesome. And look, you see, frame rate, it's not too bad. Uh, even the color picker works. Uh, in Unity 4, that was actually uh, quite annoying to get working. I'm going to leave it at white. Uh, let's see. Image effects. Camera. Nope. Camera's not selected. Add component. Image effects. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Anti-aliasing. Yeah. It blurs it a little bit. Let's see. Which ones do we have here? Uh, let's see, let's go into player. Well, that's very interesting. Um, the, the only thing that kind of doesn't work is uh, like when you want to open up, say, like a C-Shart script test. Uh, you click open, and doesn't launch now there's some there are some ways around this uh, documents projects unity 3d now this is the other thing uh, you can't create a project so what I did instead was I just brought in one of my empty ones that I know doesn't do anything sorry it doesn't have anything in it and there you go I mean that's not like the greatest workflow but you know once you already have it open uh, you could even make it. You could even make Genie or whatever it is you want to use. You could even use the Unity 3D IDE that it comes with if you wanted to. Um, I'm sure if you actually installed Mono, like the actual Mono framework, uh, it would probably just you know up and launch. But I don't have it, and I am going to have a tutorial on launching it. And there's another thing. Um, you can build, and I built it in the last one uh, just as a test, and I'll show it to you. There you go. That was a build made inside of Linux and runs on Linux just fine. And it even runs smooth as well. I was quite surprised. I mean, it is a little bit ugly and it doesn't work properly, but, you know, it's not a native editor. Hopefully it'll give us one eventually. Um, so there you go. And be on the lookout because I'm actually going to have a tutorial uh, soon on how to actually set this up. And it's actually very simple, but it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a pain on 64-bit Linux, so uh, there'll be like an extra step for 64-bit users. So uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, the Steam group. Don't also forget to follow me on Twitch.tv. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll stop talking now. Awesome. See you guys in the next one.